Okay, key challenges. Um, there's no shortage of key challenges um, in this area. So um, the first one is trust. How are we going to trust each other? How are we going to get the public to trust us? How are we going to that first time that maybe we make a misstep or a miscommunication, how are we going to restore that trust? It's absolutely essential that there be trust in this process and it, it is going to be a challenge. So, um, conveying the risk to the population. How do we say to them that it doesn't have to be 100% clean to be safe? How do we communicate what that looks like? And how are we sure that our messaging is consistent so that we go back to that first bullet point with trust? Sampling and data is something that we're going to have to do continuously on a continuous basis to prove to the public that everything is either safe or not safe. What do we do to make it make them believe that everything's okay? We're just not saying it's based on science, but we're doing this because we know it's safe that we can actually bring it ourselves. If something like this happens, it's going to take a long time for the public to see that everything is safe. Is it safe for me to go back to my house? Is it safe for me to eat those peanuts? This, I'm sorry, George, but this is a peach state anyway, so it's safe for me to make these pizza down the road. Um, one of the things that we really want to do is after after the event is to make sure that we can reconstitute the economy as, as much as we can, as quick as we can. And so what are we going to do to give the, the rest of the state and the other states and national community a comfortable feeling that our goods and services are not contaminated? There's lots of different um, definitions for what is acceptable and what's not. We need to come up with one. Uh, our thought is um, what is the right definition so we can communicate that business and industry is going to look to the counties and look to the state and look to the feds about what is the right definition, when can I go back and what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. We need to come up with one common definition for that and be able to communicate that. If they go to different sources and get different information, they're going to lose our trust. We are supporting the counties. Okay, we're supporting the local authorities, whether we're at the state level or at the at the federal level, so that's that's real critical there, uh, and we can't lose sight of that in anything that we do, and that's an everyday function in emergency management. Uh, the second bullet there talks to the uh, basically with the thread that's gone through just about all the other sessions about how important that public information is, and it has to be one voice, one message, and it's got to be timely and it's got to be accurate. And where's Joe Farmer? He says that you've got to tell the brutal truth, right, Joe? Yes. The brutal truth. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, obviously, as a, the third bullet there is a part that, you know, in order to do our job is we've got to enable that local leadership uh, to, to allow them to have informed decisions. We've got to provide whatever information we've got at the state or federal level uh, to make sure that they have that information so they can, in fact, make those decisions and then we can support uh, the, uh, the implementation of those decisions. Uh, you know, in some ways, uh, some of us at least believe that the uh, public perception is almost as uh, important as the actual event itself, the actual radiological release and, and that sort of thing, because of, uh, and I suppose it's fairly obvious, but uh, uh, do people trust what they're being told? Uh, you know, we, we did talk about things like having uh, the state uh, scientists there uh, helping convey the message along with the governor perhaps. But uh, on, during the H1N1 uh, outbreak a few years ago, the CDC director was brought in and it wasn't until the CDC director, the doctor if you will, the health, the health expert if you will, that public perception changed and they understood that that, uh, that uh, outbreak wasn't what some people thought it was going to be. And in this case, having HHS or C, uh, CDC uh, standing beside the, the uh, political uh, talking heads would be uh, would a tremendous impact on how the public perceives uh, what's going on and, and the degree to which they're willing to accept going back into uh, an affected area.